Time to find out who's gonna win Volo Week. What's going on guys? If you want to support our content and pick up this month's amazing Patreon rewards, you can do so at patreon.com slash it resolves. If you're interested in custom playmats and sleeves, visit yourplaymat.com and use code itresolves 10 yp for 10% off your entire purchase. What is going on everybody and welcome to the third and final part of Volo Week. I hope you guys have enjoyed this challenge. If you have, please, please make sure you subscribe to our channel to stay up to date on all of our latest videos. We do tons of gameplay, openings, all kinds of fun stuff. We would love to have you be a part of that. Now, if you don't know what these challenge weeks are or if this is your first one, well, welcome, first of all, but second of all, the challenge weeks are a really fun time. Basically, we provide you, our amazing community, with a build around card and then ask you to create a creative deck, create a creative deck uh, around that build around card that really features it as a highlight. Now, obviously, this week is Volo Guide to Monsters. You guys submitted some amazing decks and we've got none other than Spinner Raptor up today, which I cannot wait for. But uh, the idea is we judge based on the creativity of the deck on a scale from one to five and the number of wins out of three games. The one with the most points at the end of the week gets a free Patreon uh, digital altar pack, a mystery pack of five digital altars that we normally only make available to our Patreon members. But let's jump into today's deck, guys, and see who's going to win Volo Week. All right, guys, Spinner Raptor is back with a relatively straightforward deck. Spinner Raptor, I'm getting the bad news out of the way first. We're giving this a creativity level of three. Now, three isn't bad. It's middle of the road. Uh, that's where I feel like this lands um, relatively safely. It, de it definitely takes advantage of Volo. It uses the spark double mechanic as well as uh, a really fun card, Echoing Equation, uh, to ideally copy Volo and then be able to get a lot of triggers off of it. All very, very good, but very, uh, I'll say relatively straightforward. Um, excuse me, a little sniffy today, guys. I'm so sorry. Uh, but the idea is very straightforward. Ramp up, uh, get Volo down, hopefully copy Volo as we do it. Uh, get a copy of things like Tender Shoe Dryad, anything that can create tokens, maybe even Scoot Swarm, uh, get some extra mana with extra Lotus Cobras, and then drop a Crater Hoof or uh, play Return of the Wild Speaker to buff up our team and get in for a big attack. It's a relatively straightforward deck. I mean, that's perfectly fine. Nothing wrong with it. The idea is very nice and theoretically could uh, take over some games very, very quickly. But to put this in perspective, we do have to win all three games, Spinner After, uh, to be able to take home the win. Now, if you win two of them, you do tie with Modern Uro. Uh, so don't worry if, if there is a tie, both of you win perfectly fine. So without further ado, guys, let's start uh, our three games and see how this one goes. All right, and here we are for game number one. Uh, and yeah, I mean, this is an okay hand. It's a little bit late game. We've got some three drops into a four drop, which isn't bad. Depending on the deck, it could be really good. So we're going to do the best we can to keep this. We also get to lead on a temple, uh, which is just really nice because it is going to provide us with a little bit of scry. Curious to see, starting with a flat red source, Interesting. Um, very curious to know what this is going to be. Uh, I'm actually going to put that on the bottom. I think what we'd like at this point is just some ramp. Uh, if we can get it, like a Gilded Goose would be good. Something along those lines that we can get down early uh, and hopefully progress our game plan here. Um, let's go ahead. Let's play this. We'll reveal that forest. Uh, that's perfectly fine. And then next turn, like I said, we've either got Scoot Swarm or we've got Circle of Dreams Druid, both of which are great options on turn three. Uh, this doesn't provide us with a ton of mana uh, at this point, but that is okay. Um, now, interestingly, there is a Gilded Goose there as well. Uh, I'm assuming we're going to be up against some burn. Uh, and I'm curious to know, I think we'd like to do the Circle of Dreams Druid. I think what I'd like to do is hold on to the Scoot Swarm until we can copy it and make multiple Scoot Swarms specifically, not just little 1-1 one -one insects. Uh, and then that way we we can kind of build up. And if they do have some burn, which they do, uh, we, we have multiple things that they're going to have to hit in one turn. Uh, and if they can't do it, then we should, should be relatively okay, at least. <laughs> Uh, very curious to see what they end up doing here. Um, I'll take the action. 
I'll take four. That's fine. Uh, it's not great for us, obviously, but I think it's okay. Um, let's do this. We're going to spit out the two Gilded Geese. Look at that. I even used the, the correct pronunciation. Um, two Gilded Geese. That's really nice because not only can these ramp us, but we actually can gain some of the life we just lost thanks to Risk Factor back, uh, which works out for me. Um, I'm totally fine with that. Sure. Uh, they can burn some stuff out here. That's perfectly fine. They didn't have another burn spell, which is kind of interesting. Uh, let's see. How do we want to do this? So we can actually play the Scoot Swarm, then copy it with Spark Double if we would like. Uh, alternatively, we can wait until the following turn. Um, hmm. They did not have... I mean, they, they very easily could have another burn spell, to be clear. I feel like playing it safe uh, is potentially the correct play. So I'm going to be very safe. I'm going to wait. Um, the reason being, again, if they have two burn spells in hand, we drop it. Even if they have one, we drop Scoot Swarm, we play the land, and we just get a 1-1 one, one Insect. We don't get another Scoot Swarm. Whereas if we do this and they don't have two burn spells, we actually get double the, uh, the uh, Scoot Swarms here. So I think that that's worth it. I'll take the action again. Little worried because obviously we are taking a good bit of damage, but... <laughs> Okay. Uh, yeah, I mean, that's not the end of the world here. Uh, I'm going to activate this and go ahead and get three life here, and then I'll create a food as well. Uh, that just keeps us kind of moving forward in this game. Uh, all right, let's do this. Let's do this. Now, we can't spark double the Scoot Swarm. Uh, I kind of like that play, uh, although it is nice to be able to leave up this... So maybe that's what we do instead. Uh, I don't know. No, I think I'm going to go for it. Uh, the reason being, this really sets us above and beyond. If we can get a uh, another land down, we get triple the Scoot Swarps, uh, which is pretty good, uh, especially given that they are a burn deck. The expectation is they may not have sweepers so much uh, and instead have quite a bit of these little burn spells, which can deal with the Scoot Swarms, but they've got to now have three of them in hand. And if they do, that's wasting their turn, basically. Uh, not wasting it, but basically taking up their entire turn which I'm okay with. Uh, okay, they're going to take out the Gilded Goose. Interesting. Very interesting. So they had four burn spells. <laughs> That's pretty crazy. Uh, sure. You got it. Uh, let's... Yeah, let's do this. We're going to copy the Scoot Swarm. We're going to play this. Uh, we are going to attack in because we do need to start dealing a little bit of damage here. And then I think we'll just go ahead and gain some life. This is going to get us a little bit out of range of some burn. Uh, I don't know exactly what they could have. I mean, these risk factors are scary. Don't get me wrong. Um, but <sighs> very curious. Okay. So they did discard a land. Uh, I'll take the action. We're still out of range, and they don't have any other cards in hand, so I feel like that's still the safest play. Uh, let's do this. I didn't get a land, unfortunately. Uh, I'm all too happy to trade off here if they'd like. Um, looks like they don't want to. Okay. Uh, interesting. Okay. So we can just, well, that's a scary place to be. <laughs> I was going to say we could take four, uh, with this risk factor if they do play it, uh, which we can, um, but we are going to be in contention here. Discarded an electrostatic field. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So if we get a land, we could win, theoretically. We're risking it. It's risk factor time, baby. We're doing it. We got this. Oh, yes, please. Okay. That gets us Crater Hoof. Look at that. Uh, we actually didn't even need a land. I'm sorry. Uh, yes. All right. We're amazing. We did it. Heck yes. All right, Spinner Raptor. That is a game win, my friend. We calculated that risk and got it. Oh, they didn't even let us attack. All right. One win down. Let's see if we can get two more. 
all right guys here we are for game number two and uh yeah i mean i do think we can keep this we've got a gilded goose in hand depending on what the opponent has this could be a very good start we can ramp into the scoot swarm on turn two if we would like if we happen to see red or black though we may want to maybe hold off we'll we'll see there is a black source that's a little scary uh with that in mind I think I'm just gonna go second Gilded Goose. So what this does is set us up really nicely for the Tender Shoot Dryad next turn, um, which I think is probably just better to, to hold on to. If they do have something like a Blood Chief's Thirst or something like that, it's a little bit trickier. Okay, um, so they take Return of the Wild Speaker. Uh, that's not that problematic for us. Uh, it's not good, but it's not that problematic. All right, uh, perfect. Yeah, let's do this. Let's throw out that Tender Shoot Dryad. We'll auto pay, get rid of these guys. Uh, I do hate to lose the food token so early, but this really puts us in a decent spot where we're just kind of spitting out free things. So they're going to have to deal with it. Um, and if they don't, great. All right, so they're going to take. Uh, oh, actually, yes, we can just do this. Pardon me. Uh, forgot that we can just do that. Um, now, they could have a Thought Seizer and Inquisition, which would hit the Scoot Swarm, uh, which would be annoying, but I don't think that's going to happen. There's a Volo. Um, I mean, I do think the play is just to go for the, the Scoot Swarm here. The trick is, um, if they happen to uh, have really any hand destruction it's worth it to play everything that we can uh the downside is if they happen to have a sweeper we're in really bad shape so uh let's hope uh i i'm not sure if they do but we got to do the best we can tender shoot dryad does get us that city's blessing which is great uh oh man i really wish we could uh do a little bit more ramping here but that's okay uh let's attack uh, not going to attack with the Tender Shoot Dryad. It's not worth it because they could double block. Uh, instead, they're just going to take the damage. Uh, and I think we just pass here, leaving up the Gilded Goose. We do get another 3-3 three, three here. So they are pretty dead next turn uh, if they don't have a Sweeper. Uh, if they do, that sucks. Uh, <laughs> really bad. But if we draw a land off the top, we can get Volo down. So... We'll see. <laughs> Great merchant. Uh, okay. I mean, that's good for them, but it actually isn't that bad for us either because we do have Return of the Wild Speaker, which now that we do have an extra food token down, we do have the ability to play if we get a land off the top. Uh, and if we get that land, we should be in great shape. Uh, Non-human creatures, which is everything. Uh, Spinner Raptor, you really did put together a really cool deck here. Oh, very nice. Double. I like that. All right, so they're back up to 20. Uh, that's a scary place to be. We get another 3-3. Three, three. There's the land off the top, which is obviously important for us. Um, all right. We have to all attack and then drop one of these back. Let's see what they do. Uh, this should give us at least a really strong play. We'll see if this actually wins the game or not, but um, I'm not doing the math, to be honest. <laughs> um, sure. But they don't have mana left open, so like they can't even pump this up. Um, yeah, block like that. That'd be great. I was going to say, you might want to block a little bit more. <laughs> uh, all right, auto pay. <laughs> And that should win the game. <laughs> okay, Spinner Raptor, game number two goes to you, my friend. We've got one more game to see if you win or if we are going to tie. Let's see how it goes. All right, guys, here we are for our third and final game. Uh, and this is actually a really good hand. Not only do we have some rampers, but we've got the Volo plus Spark Double combo. Uh, definitely worth the keep. Let's see if we can make this one happen. This could be really, really good. Opponent plays a Stitcher Supplier, so we are looking at a graveyard list. That's a little scary. Jinka Taxis is very scary. Um, so I think we do this, obviously throwing this out, and then uh, let's just play that Gilded Goose here. 
Now, the nice thing about Gilded Goose is we can block this Stitcher Supplier without actually, like, uh, killing it, <laughs> uh, which is actually kind of nice. Um, all right, so I think we just do the same play here, throw out that Lotus Cobra, then next turn we've got a really solid follow-up play. Uh, definitely worried. Um, this is most definitely an Unburial Rights deck, so if they can get more stuff in the graveyard... Uh, no Unburial Rights. Okay, cool. They didn't have it. Uh, that's good. They do have Settle the Wreckage, which is something we need to keep in mind here. Uh, okay, let's do this. We'll just say green uh, and throw this out. Now we just pass. Uh, next turn, we just play Spark Double on Volo if we'd like. They get a zero for sure. And no land. That's very good to know. Um, all right, let's do this. Uh, it doesn't really matter. Let's go ahead and do this. We get two copies, essentially. Um, and we pass. Um, now we've got quite a lot of power on the field. Um, did they still not draw a land? They did not. Hmm. All right, uh, let's do this. We get a lot of copies of Scoot Swarm. <laughs> uh, I like that a lot. Um, let's do this. Uh, green. And that gives us mana for Circle of the Dreams Druid. <laughs> I mean, that's pretty good. Uh, do we want to attack or do we want to wait? Because they do have Stitcher Supplier. I don't particularly want to lose to that. What do they have in the graveyard, though? It's looks it's just get Jenga Taxes. Yeah, we'll attack. They're just going to take it. That's fine. Uh, next turn, we do have a land, so this Scoot Swarm is going to go kind of crazy. They don't have Settle the Wreckage this turn, which is huge. And we got the win. Wow, what a quick game. What a quick series of games. It was less than 20 minutes. Wow. Okay, Spinner Raptor, let's chat. Spinner Raptor, once again, you are taking these challenge weeks down, my friend. Now, I know your creativity score not super high this week. Normally, you do a very good job. And I think, honestly, everybody does a pretty good job, which is fantastic. But uh, Spinner Raptor, your creativity score only got a three, but all three wins put you at six points, which is one above our current leader, Modern Uro, which means you do win. So congratulations, Spinner Raptor. We will get that proxy pack out to you this weekend. But guys, thank you so much for being a part of this. If you would like to support the channel, please again, like the video, subscribe. It really does mean a lot. And if you'd like to take part in these challenge weeks, please feel free to do so. Our Discord link is down below. Next week is Happily Ever After. We do need some more deck submissions, so please make sure you check that out and give us your submissions because it's going to be a really fun week. Cannot wait to see what you guys can come up with. But until then, guys, I'll see you. Have a great weekend. What's going on, guys? If you enjoyed this video and would love to check out some more, please make sure you subscribe to our channel and turn on all notifications so you get notified whenever we have a new video posted.